In this video I'm gonna show you how to increase or improve your FPS in World of Warcraft. In this tutorial we're gonna tweak the in-game settings, the Blizzard launcher settings and we're gonna optimize your PC for gaming. So make sure to watch till the end and don't skip any steps. Before we start click on the link in the description and download the FPS boost pack. Once you unzip it on your desktop we can start. The first step is to open the battle.net launcher or the blizzard launcher. Once you open it, click on the blizzard logo and click on settings. Now what you want to do is when I click X at the top of the window, set it to exit battle.net. And when I launch a game, set it to exit battle.net completely. This will just free up memory on your PC. Once you're done here, click on the streaming tab and disable enable streaming. So you want this to be unchecked. Once you uncheck it, click on done. And now click on options where it says World of Warcraft. So click on the options button and now click on show in explorer. Open the World of Warcraft folder. And now what you want to do is right click on World of Warcraft launcher. Open the properties, go to the compatibility tab and check the disable full screen optimizations box. Click on change high DPI settings and check the override high DPI scaling behavior. Once you're done, click on OK, click on apply and click on OK again. You can now close the folder and now what you want to do is open World of Warcraft we're gonna tweak the in-game settings, so click on play and wait for the game to load. Now select the character and click on enter world. Now what you want to do is open the World of Warcraft FPS boost pack. Go to the settings folder and now choose whether you want high-end settings or low-end settings. I would recommend going with the low-end settings because this will just give you more FPS. So open up the settings and set them on your right side of your monitor. Then set World of Warcraft on the left side and what you want to do now is click on escape in the game. Click on system and now just copy all of the settings from the notepad file. So scroll down and you should find in-game system settings. What you want to do is just copy all of them. So set the display mode to windowed full screen. Set the window size to native which is 1920 by 1080 for me. Set the resolution scale to 94%, turn off anti-aliasing, turn off vertical sync. Set the graphics quality to 5, set the texture resolution to low, set texture filtering to bilinear, set projected textures to disabled, etc. So what you want to do is just copy all of the commands in here into your game. Once you're done with the graphics settings, scroll down in the notepad file, find the advanced settings, go to the advanced tab, then change the sound settings and of course feel free to adjust these settings so they will fit you perfectly and your PC. Once you're done with the system settings, just click on apply and click on OK. I'm gonna set World of Warcraft to windowed because I need to see the notepad file and so do you. Once you're done here, click on escape again. To exit the menu and what you want to do now is just scroll to the top in the notepad file and you should find the in-game console commands. If you want to enter these commands what you want to do is just copy the first one and paste it in your chat. So just click on Control plus V to paste it and click on enter and the command should be applied. Now do the same thing for all of these console commands and once you get to the last one what you want to do is set the value to CPU cores minus one. If you don't know how many cores your CPU has, then you can find that out by right clicking on the test bar and open the task manager. Go to the performance tab and as you can see, it says cores six. So I have six cores, I'm gonna set it to five, six minus one. And once you're done, you can close the task manager, copy the last command, and paste it into your chat and click on enter. Once you're done with all of the settings in the notepad file, 
you can then close it and close World of Warcraft. The next step is to right click on your desktop and open the NVIDIA control panel. Now click on manage 3D settings and make sure that the high performance NVIDIA processor is set as your preferred graphics processor. Then open the FPS boost pack and open the optimizations folder. Open the GPU settings folder and open the first image. What you want to do now is basically just copy all of the settings from the image into your NVIDIA control panel and once you're done with the first image go ahead and open the second one, copy the rest of the settings into your NVIDIA control panel and you can close the image and just click on apply in the NVIDIA control panel which should be somewhere in the bottom. Once you apply the settings you can close the control panel. Then go back in the world of Warcraft FPS boost pack and open the optimizations folder again. Open the ISLC folder and now double click on intelligence standby list cleaner. Now click on the arrow in the bottom right corner and click on the intelligence standby list cleaner logo. So what you want to do now is double click on it and it should open up. Click on stop if it's already working and now check the enable custom timer resolution option and type 0.50 in the wanted timer resolution. Then type the list size is at least 1024 megabytes and type 8196 megabytes if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM or type 4096 if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM. Once you're done, click on purge standby list, click on start and you can now close the application. Now go back to the optimizations folder and the next step is to open the CCleaner setup. Click on yes, uncheck the yes install CCleaner browser box and click on install. Once it's done just click on run CCleaner, click on the registry tab, select all of these boxes and click on scan for issues. Once it's done just click on fix selected issues, click on no, click on fix all selected issues and wait for it to be finished. Once it's done it should say issue fixed and click on close and you can now close the CCleaner application. The next step is to double click on NVIDIA profile inspector, click on yes, now click on where it says profiles and type world of Warcraft and open it. Click on where it says frame rate limiter mode and select frame rate limiter control delay flip by flip metering in the list. Click on it. Now click on apply changes and you can close the NVIDIA profile inspector application. The next step is to install park control setup so just double click on it. Click on yes. Click on ok. I agree. Next install and wait for it to finish. Once it's done it should automatically open. Now select CPU settings for power profile, select Bitsum highest performance from the list and make sure that all of these are set at 100%. Once you're done, click on apply, click on ok and click on ok again. Now double click on quick CPU setup, click on next, accept the terms, next again, next install and wait for it to finish. Click on yes and click on finish. Yes again and wait for it to load. Now go where it says system power plan and select Bitsum highest performance and make sure that the core parking index, frequency scaling index and the turbo boost index are all set at 100%. Once you're done click on apply. It should say changes successfully applied. Click on ok and you can now click on close. The next step is to double click on registry editor tweak, click on yes, it says are you sure you want to continue, click on yes again and it should say the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry, click on ok. The next step is to right click on windows deplorer and click on run with powershell and this should open up. Now click on remove all bloatware and just let it finish. Once it's done it should say finished all tasks 
and you can then close the Windows Deploader application. The next step is to go back to the World of Warcraft FPS Boost Pack and open the Ultimate Performance Mode Notepad file. Now click on the search bar and type CMD, right click on the command prompt and click on Run as Administrator. Now click on the search bar and type CMD, right click on the command prompt and click on Run as Administrator. Click on Yes. Now copy the command from the notepad file and paste it in CMD. Click on Enter and the Ultimate Performance Mode is enabled. Now what you want to do is just close the command prompt, click on the search bar and type Edit Power Plan and open it. Click on Power Options and select Bitsum Highest Performance or Ultimate Performance. Once you're done, you can close the Power Options and you can close the Notepad file. The next step is to click on the search bar again and type Run and open it. Now type percent temp percent and click on OK. Now click somewhere in the folder and click on Ctrl plus A to select all of the files and folders. Right click on them and click on Delete. Click on Continue and you can just skip the files that won't be deleted. These are all just temporary files that your PC doesn't need anymore, so don't worry, you can delete them. Once you're done, you can close the temporary folder and now click on the search bar again, type run and open it and type prefetch and click on OK again. Now do the same thing, so click on Ctrl plus A to select all of them right click on them and click on delete so you can skip the files that won't be deleted and once you're done you can close the prefetch folder the last step is to update your drivers and you can do that by going to the nvidia website and download nvidia experience going to the amd website if you have an amd graphics card and downloading the amd application that automatically detects and updates your drivers or if you have an intel graphics card then just go to the intel website and download the driver for your graphics card. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped. Bye.